back to another week of Catch Up with Keller, 2019 edition. Mike? Tammy. And Lauren here. And we are going to introduce you to Tommy, and he's going to teach you a little bit of maintenance how-to. Yeah, but first, you know, we could help him out a little bit. We can help Tommy out. Where is that big thingamajig? That thing right there? We... Uh-oh. We're in trouble, guys. Let's go. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry, Tommy. We'll get out of your way. Nice place to start Bye now. Hello, uh, if we haven't met, my name's Tom Hurdig. I'm the maintenance supervisor here at Thomas Keller Trucking. Uh, I've been here for 32 years. Uh, I've been the shop boss for 25, I think. Uh, I'd like to start with the fluids. So, Let's do a quick fluid check on this truck back here. Okay, hood's unlatched. We are gonna latch the other side. Grab it in the middle, put your knee in it. If, sometimes you can't get your hood to open by pulling up here in the center. Uh, if it hasn't been open for a while, sometimes they'll stick. I found the best is if you can get underneath of here, don't hurt yourself back. I usually like hook my arm, shoulder, and use your like, you know, use your, your leg and, and shoulder as a, don't, don't try to jerk it because if you're not used to jerking things, you might hurt yourself. Uh, the business end is all on this side. Of course, we got our dipstick. is yellow. It's not all clean, so this is what your truck's going to look like. This is a real, real world uh, example. Okay, on the dipstick, we pulled it out. Uh, I got from there to there. If you got uniforms, you can do this. If not, you might want to use a might want to use a rag. Wife appreciate that, or whoever does the laundry. If you do the laundry. Okay, pull it out. Okay, you see we're halfway between this over here. It says max and men. Let me wipe it off again. Get the other pant leg here. Okay, we've got a max and a min. It does not have to be at the max all the time. Uh, between min and max is a gallon. I would, I would wait till it gets to there to add a gallon. This is your oil fill here. Most of them are tethered. This one is not. So we, once in a while, we lose about a cap a year. One of these goes missed about once a year, which in all in all is, is pretty good. I shouldn't complain. Your antifreeze, especially I, on a cold morning, you know, you, it might've been good the night before if you start the truck up and you'll get a stop engine light. Detroit diesel is very concerned about their antifreeze. Overnight, when it's, it's cold out, it will shrink. Usually the first couple good cold snaps, I'll get a few phone calls, said, hey, my stop engine light came on. Uh, once it gets down to the cold minimum, below the cold minimum, it's gonna throw you a red light. And like I say, it usually happens in the morning after everything's cooled down and shrunk up. Uh, some people look and they say this, you can see the sensor, I don't know if Hayden can get over here or not, but. There's actually the coolant sensor is right here, and in uh, in years past, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people had mechanical abilities, and they would say, "Well, it's not down to the coolant sensor, so it shouldn't be kicking it off." That's actually a float in there, so it's it's still above the coolant sensor, but if it's down to this cold line, you will get a, a stop engine light. Uh, take this cap off. Never take this cap off down here. Never take this bottom cap off. It's, it's awkward to get to, but this is your fill right here. This the top is actually the overflow. This is actually your overflow like on your car. That's your pressure cap down there. But uh, fill it right there. Uh, on the out chance that your truck is hot, most of the time they're not hot when they're low, but you can spin that a couple turns, get away from it. I have scalded myself before. They, uh, everybody will tell you do not take off a hot radiator cap. I have done that and I, is burnt from here. I don't know, kind of still a little uh, wrinkles there. Anyhow, you will, you can burn yourself. So like I say, if it's hot, loosen a little bit, get away from it. Uh, never try to take this one off. That's the pressure cap right there. That's the one that will get you burnt right there. Uh, power steering fluid. We do not have much problems with the power steering. Uh, in years past, we had a lot of issues uh, with the with the with the gearboxes leaking and things like that, Freightliner they've come a long way. We don't have much issues. It does 
it is supposed to have automatic transmission fluid, but if you do lose a line or develop a leak, you can put motor oil in it to get you home. And that's pretty much it for the quick and easy stuff. Two thousand nineteen edition she has screwed that up because I skipped over the What? Quit recording me. The battery's dead. Wow, really? <laughs> That's going on the blue for real. Alright. <laughs>